There are two things that you are going to learn today. First, we are going to look at the relation between three or more variables for a given joint variation. Previously, you only learned two variable or one variable, sorry, for example, y varies directly as x, like this, right? Okay, the one that involves three or more variables is the one that you learn, for example, in form three, you learn to find the interest. I is equal to PRT. So one, two, three, three variables. Okay, and the next one, you are going to learn to solve problem. Okay, we will enter into the joint variation. We call this joint variation, huh? okay, because you have more than one variable. Okay, let us go to the mind mobilization first. Okay, if you have your book with you, we will do this together. Huh? Okay, over here you are given this diagram. I'm sorry. You're given this diagram whereby the length is x centimeter and the width is z centimeter. Okay, so you look at the steps over here. Number one, the diagram on the right shows a rectangle with x centimeter in length and z centimeter in width. It is given that the area of the rectangle is y squared centimeter, this part. Okay, complete the table below. If z is a constant, means z is fixed. So you can see the value of z over here, 6666 is fixed. And x is a variable. So we are going to get the area. 2 times 6, we get a 12. 3, 6, 18. 4, 6, 24. 5, 6, 30. Okay, for the second condition B, if X is a constant, now the X is fixed. Okay, with the width of Z is a variable, so we are going to find out the area. 6 times 2, 12. 5 times 2, 10. 4 times 2, 8. 3 times 2, 6. And then for part C here, if x, z, and y are variables, everything is a variable. So you can see the value of x, 2, 3, 4, 5, it change. And then x, 6, 3, 2, for z also change, keep changing, right? So you find the area of y, 8 times 2, 16, 3 times 6, 18, 4 times 3, 12, 5 times 2, 10. Okay, then we are going to find out where y varies directly as x and z. So to find this, you are going to divide it. So y on top means y is 16. x times z, 8 times 2, 16 is the same. The answer is 1. Okay, for the second one, the value of y, 18. The value of x times z, 18. It's the same. And then for this one, Okay, y, 12. 4 times 3, 12. The last one is 10. 5 times 2, 10. Everything is equal to 1. Meaning that we will get a constant over here. Okay, so now they will ask you the discussion over here. I'm not going to do the discussion huh? from the finding. Okay, the result of mind mobilization for show that y varies directly as x, meaning that when the value of y increase, x increase. So you can check for this one. When the value of y increase, x also increase, right? Okay, then you look at the second part and y varies directly as z okay for this one when the value of y decreased sorry the value of z also decreased that's why we have y varies directly as z this one is y varies directly sorry hey, varies directly as x ah, still not getting used to the varies okay hence y varies jointly as x and Z. So this is how we write down. Okay, when y varies directly as z, it's actually the combination of y varies directly as x, and also y varies directly as z. So we have y varies directly as x z. 
Okay, so for here, it means that when the value of y increase, x increase. y decrease, x decrease. For this one also, the same. When y increase, x increase. When y decrease, oh, sorry, z decrease, increase. When y decrease, z decrease. That's the meaning. Okay, but then you have to bear in mind of one thing. Okay, look at the last one here. Y varies directly as x z. I want you to find out this. When x increase, what happened to z? Can everybody see that? Can somebody answer me? Z decreases. Z decreases. Yes, correct. It's the opposite. Okay, you can see from here. It's getting uh, less. When this is increasing, this is getting less. It's the same thing happen when you have y varies directly as x z. If the x increase, z will decrease. If the x decrease, z will increase. Okay, so we move forward to the next one. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, this one you need to know. Where is here? Sorry, this part. Previously, I didn't uh, emphasize this to you. Uh, for a normal variation that you learned previously, y varies if y varies directly as x. Okay, something like this. The condition is the same as this one. Okay, so over here, I just want to mention for a joint version, y varies jointly as x to the power of m and z to the power of n. It can be written as this. Y varies directly as x to the power of n, z to the power of n. And when you change it to the equation form, you just add in the constant in front. Okay, and the value of m and n that you are going to learn in form 5 right now, it just involves one, two, three, which means the power over here, the maximum they will give you the power of three. It's the same for the fraction. The power that they will give you the maximum is one over three. Just like your exercise, you won't meet one over four and so on, right? Uh, so basically, you just need to memorize the answer for all the square of the number and also the cube of a number. Okay? In the previous form five, they don't learn this. They don't learn this. They on, only learn up to one over two only. Okay, so now it's another extension for you. You just have to learn another one, one over three. Okay, so we will enter some of the example today. We will start with example nine. Okay, let's move to example nine. Okay, <clears throat> where is my example? Okay, here. So I'll do it slowly for you. Huh? Today might take a longer time because we have a few examples which also involve problem solving. Okay, here example 9. Write the relation using the symbol of varies directly as and in equation form for each of the following. A. P varies directly as Q and square root of R. So I'm going to write like this. P varies directly as Q and square root of r. Straight away, change it to the form of equation. So p equal to k q square root of r. Okay? If there's nothing, no uh, operation here, it means times. Huh? I'm sure you know that already. Huh? Okay. When they ask you to write down for part b here, a is already done. Huh? This is the answer for part b. y varies directly as a square of w. Square of W means W square and the cube of X, cube of X. Okay, so again, they want you to write down in the form of equation. You just change it to the form of equation. Y equal to K times W square times X cube. Okay, that's all. Huh? Then for question number C now. The volume of a prism V varies directly as the area of cross-section A in its height. Okay, change the form of equation V equal to K A H. Okay, and lastly for D. The mass, which is of due, of a cylindrical metal rod varies directly as its length P. 
and the square of the diameter of its base, d, the square of it. So change the form of equation, it will be w equal to k p d squared. Okay, any questions so far? No. Okay, great. Let's carry on. Now we look at example 10 here. Okay, given that x varies directly as y squared z, express x in terms of y and z. If x equal to 6 and y equal to 3, z equal to 5. So you're given this. Change it to the form of equation first. x equal to k y squared z. Then you are going to substitute the value of x, y, and z into the variable here. Okay, which will be 6 equal to k times y is 3 squared, z is 5. Just put everything in bracket. Okay, so therefore, k is equal to 6 over 3 squared times 5. So, 6 over 9 times 5, 45. And how much is the answer that you will get? 9 times 5, 45, 6 over 45. Do you want me to show you the calculator? Okay, let's open up the calculator. Actually, you can see it. Okay, let's add back. 0 0.13. 0 point? 1, 3. 1, 3, huh? or you can simplify in the form of fraction, right? How much is in the form of fraction? 2 over 15. 2 over 15, 2 over 15 or 0 0.13. If you, I let you decide right now. Which one are you going to choose instead of the fraction and also the decimals? Any, anyone can answer me? Uh, Fran okay, Hedy. Yeah, Hedy. Uh, fraction? Yes, very good. Because if you look at the decimal, it's 13333, three, three, quite a lot of decimal places, right? So, the better way? Yes. Is fraction. Okay, so this is 2 over 15. That's all. And then they ask you to express x, meaning that you have to write down the x as the subject. So, follow this. x equal to the k is 2 over 15 y squared z. Okay, that's all for this question. Any question? No. No. Okay, we move on. Huh? Okay, we move on to example 11. Okay. Well, if you look at the question here, the gravitational potential energy, E joules. Okay, this one involving physics already. Of an object varies directly as its mass m kg the gravitational acceleration g meter per second per second so this one involving acceleration and its position at a height of h meter from the ground so it is like this e varies directly as m g h okay this one m g h Given that E is 197 joules, when M equal to 4, G is 9.81, and H is equal to 5, write an equation that relates E, M, G, and H. So therefore, you just substitute everything, but before that, you have to change it to the form of equation. E equal to K, M, G, H. So E is 197 equal to K times M is 4. G, 9.81, H, 5. So you just press your calculator, okay? After you get the answer, you will find out. Okay, let's see. It will be actually is 197 over 4 times 9.81 times 5. Like this. Okay, let's press the calculator here. Okay. 197 divided by 4 times 9.81 times 5. 
can you see it's 9 at 5 over 9 at 1 and actually if you change the decimal there are a lot of decimal points but over here in your textbook they just simplify it by rounding off everything becomes one okay if they ask for the answer precisely it is actually 9 at 5 over 9 at 1 but over here you just follow lah, the method in the textbook because they round it off so it is equal to one and lastly you just have to write down the equation so the equation will be e is equal to the k substitute you with one so we don't have to write down the one anymore therefore it is equal to n g h straight away this is the final answer okay now we move on to example 12. okay with the phone huh? the phone is ringing okay let us continue with example 12 over here three quantities STU. So you can see from the table over here, STU, vary as shown in the table on the right. It is given that S varies directly as T. So you write down first, S varies directly as T. And the cube root of U, cube root of U. Calculate the value of X and Y. So over here, when they ask you to calculate either one of the value, there are two methods. Either you find the constant first or you use the proportional method. So if you find a constant, then you have to change it to the form of equation. So S equal to K T cube root of U. Okay, then from all the number given first, this is the guideline for you to get the value of the constant. So S is equal to 6, K T is 0 0.8, cube root of U is 27. Okay, so K is equal to 6 divided by 0 0.8 times cube root of 27 is a 3 if you have memorized well before okay therefore the value of the k is equal to how much let us find out 6 divided by 0 0.8 times 3 so you get 5 over 2 or it is actually equal to 2.5 right okay so it's up to you which one to you. yeah 2.5 after that, they ask you to calculate the value of x, right? You already have the constant, so you just have to substitute into it. Okay, this is the equation s equal to 2.5 t cube root of u. So we were provided with the value of t and the value of u. You substitute into the t and u here to get the value of x. So now we need to change, huh? x is equal to 2.5 times the value of t is 1.2 the value of u is 1 to 5 so you have in mind already cube root of 1 to 5 is actually a 5 so it is 2.5 times 1.2 times 5 press your calculator okay 2.5 times 1.2 times 5 so the answer is 15. Okay. Or you also can use the proportional method to find the value of y. Eh? Same thing, eh? find x, find y, both you can use. But over here, when you use the proportional method, meaning that the k straight away come up. Okay. So for example, s varies directly as t over u, t times cube root of u will be s over t times cube root of u so you just make it the same to the next one everything will have for example this is s1 sorry this part here everything here is s1 t1 u1 so you just write down s1 t1 u1 this is s2 t2 u2 Okay, but the one that we want to find is the last one now. Eh? So I'm going to change this to 3. So this will be S3, T3, U3. Okay, given the value of S originally is 6 over T, 0 0.8, and then cube root of 27. We substitute all the value here. Okay, it's very messy already, I know. Let's clear it off. Okay. Equal to S cube. S cube is 50. Over T3 is 40. 
multiply by cube root of u, cube root of y, substitute. So we are going to find the value of y over here. Okay, how to solve this? You cross multiply it. Therefore, it will be 6 times 40 times cube root of y equal to 50 times 0 0.8 times cube root of 27. I changed to 3 straight away. So 6 times 40 is 240 here. So cube root of y is equal to 50 times 0 0.8 times 3. 50 times 0 0.8 times 3 equal to 120. 6 times 40 is 240. Cancel, cancel, you get 0 0.5. Okay. Why I don't want to write down as 1, 1 over 2? You can. But over here, because I want to get rid of the cube root later on, so 0 0.5 is easier for me. So to find out the value of y, to cancel the cube, I'm going to cube it on the right. Okay, to cancel the cube root so that you can do like this. Therefore, y is 0 0.5 cube. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.125. Are you okay, class? Yes. 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 Do you need to take a break? No need. No need. Ah. So, no we need. just carry on with the problem solving. There are two examples in problem solving. Okay. So, I just carry on. Ah. We have 47 people right now but actually all together supposed to have 51 later on you don't leave first huh? i'm going to take your attendance okay let's move to the problem solving this is the problem solving example okay charles law again is involving physics Charles law states that for a fixed mass of gas, the volume of the gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. Kelvin, okay, meaning that V varies directly as T. If the pressure of the gas is fixed, it is given that a container contains 30 cm cube of gas at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So express T, V in terms of T. Therefore, we need to change this huh, into equation. V very directly as T will be V equal to KT. Okay, for this question, you have to apply the formula given here, the last part. Whereby, formula for the conversion of temperature in degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Because this is T, Kelvin. So, X degrees Celsius is 270 plus X times K. Okay, so your V will become K times T, whereby V is 30, the volume, equal to K times T. So your T is this one right now, that's the temperature, which will be 273 plus X. How much is the X? X is the temperature, this one, 30. So we need to plus 30. D. Okay, therefore, K is equal to 30 over 270 plus 30 is 303. Okay, then you can simplify it. 30 divided by 303, you will get a fraction of 10 over 101. Therefore, when they ask you to express V in terms of T, this is for part A. So V is equal to 10 over 101 T. Okay, this is the answer for the first part. T. Okay, first part. Now we move to the second part, B. Okay, for B, they want you to calculate the volume in cubic centimeter of the gas if the temperature changes to negative 11 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we are going to follow the formula that we have just now. We are going to substitute it. Okay, copy down. V is equal to 10 over 101T. Okay, now the temperature changed to negative 11. So it will be 10 over 101. Then this part over here, it will be 273. The value of x is negative 11 now. 
so you have to minus 11. Therefore, it will be 10 over 101 times 260, 62. Okay, so you press your calculator again. Okay, this one, multiply directly with 262. We will get 25.94. Okay, this one is volume, right? The unit for the volume over here is cubic centimeter. So just write down cm cube. Are you okay, everyone? Yes. 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 yes huh? Okay. So we just move on to the last one, now. Huh? Make sure you're still paying attention over here. Okay, this is the last example. This example is easier than the 13 just now. Madam Soon save her money in a savings account. Uh, is the one that you're learning from 3, uh, savings account here. It is given that the interest I receive varies directly as a principal P, the period in year T of the savings. Okay, and then Madam Soon received an interest of 200 when she saved 4,000 for two years. Okay, so this one involves interest, principal, and the period of year, which is I varies directly as PT. Okay, so change to the form of equation I equal to KPT. So we are going to substitute the value of the interest, 200 is equal to K times the principal, which is 4,000, multiply with the T in year. How many year? Two years. Two. Correct. Okay, so we will get the value of K. K is equal to 200 divided by 4,000 times 2. So 200 divided by 4,000 times 2. We will get 1 over 40 or 0 0.025. So both acceptable, 0 0.025. Therefore, I is equal to 0 0.025 PT. Okay? Then we look at A, have we answered the question? Calculate the period of the saving for Madam Soon to receive an interest of 650 with a principal of 5,200. So the I will be 650 over here. We are going to replace the I with 650 equal to 0 0.025. The principal is 5,200. Okay, and the T is the one that we have to find because they asked us to calculate the period of the savings. So from here, we can find the T straight away. You just need to use 650 divided by 0 0.025 times 5200. Okay, so the time is five years. Okay, next we look at question B. This is A. Madam Soon wants to get the same amount of interest but reduce the period of her savings in A. She wants to reduce the period of the saving in A is five years. She wants to reduce it. Does she need to increase or decrease her principal and explain your answer? So from the equation that we have here is actually I equal to 0 0.025 PT. If she wants to get the same amount of interest, meaning that this is fixed, but reduce the period of a saving. So the period means this one, decrease. Does she need to increase or decrease the principal? Increase. Yes, very good. Because from the earlier part that I've taught you just now, when this one decreased, the P must be the other way around, which is increase. Okay, same things goes the other way around. If she wants to increase the year, then she must decrease, must decrease the principal. Clear? So the answer, you can refer to your book, meaning that when uh, she wants to maintain the value of I in the equation, therefore she has to increase the principal. Okay? So the exercise that you need to do will be more than last week. Eh? 
Question number one. Okay. And then question number five. Question number six. This one up to you. Uh, which method you want to use. Either finding the constant or the proportional method is up to you. Seven, eight. Followed by next one. You move to page 16. Uh, okay, this is page 16. So 1.1D here. I want you to do all the three questions given. Hi, madam. Okay. All right, madam. Okay, so I'll yeah. see you again next week. This week, yeah. I just want to make yeah. sure. Yeah, pardon? What do you say again? Hi, madam. Hi, yeah, madam. <laughs> Uh, I just want to mention again for those who didn't hand in your variation variation work, uh, the one that I mentioned just uh, this one, uh, Anissa, Dania, I know, Faiz, Gary, Yufan, Janwell, Jesselyn, try your best, Matthew, Kalish, Najiha, Hazik, Iza, Rif, Rosdina, Sophia, Shami, Wan Farah. Try your very best to hand in your work, the one that we just marked. Okay? So. For the rest, the exercise that I've given you, you don't have to turn in first. Okay, I saw that you already hanta, Reef, Jen, well. Uh, thank you. Najiha is here, huh? Oh, okay. So, for this week, I don't want you to hand in the work yet for 1.1C, 1.1D. We are going to check it together like today on next, should be the next, next Wednesday because next Wednesday is already holiday, right? Okay, I'll see you. In the next lesson, you just get ready for it. Okay? Okay. 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 See you. Yeah. See you all. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.